I'm here. Or Niger died. I pledge to say nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. I will sell it. Oh, um, uh, pepper them. And your businesses. I really like wristwatches. Yeah, I, I really like wristwatches. Um, it used to be glasses, because um, I actually wear medicated glasses, but yeah, wristwatches. Shoes, you know why? The set that pays for how you carry yourself. The higher the shoes, the closer to heaven. Ah, let me balance with the feeling. Ah, gay, gay. So shoes definitely for me. It has to be accessories, really. Um, bracelets, neck chains, earrings. Yeah, I think those are, I think they just add some, some finesse to your swag. My favorite piece of clothing would be like, you catch me outside maybe at like the bar or like the lounge or somewhere. I have sneakers, I have like baggy jeans and I have like an oversized tee with like my wig. Even my home, probably bandana type thing. That's, that's me. Me, I'm very simple. Maybe just like nice official trousers or like, nice pair of jeans or like a nice top, maybe a long sleeve shirt, or like, you know, just a top or traditional. I keep um, every of my outfits from all my videos. My late mom's list. My mom passed 22 years ago, and I still have one of her diapers. It's a lace that it's in the safest part of my, my wardrobe. And yeah, it's my most cherished possession. Well, I'd say my watch collection. I'm not wearing a watch right now, but I value my watch collection. I've, I only have two pieces and I save them for special occasions. I think I'll just go with my shades because I have a lot. My chest of drawers, I have like five drawers of different kinds. We must either match the hair, match the outfit or something. Some I know even the sea robe, but I go wear them. Oh, I just got these sneakers. They are like a Stella McCartney and Adidas collab type thing. And I'm so obsessed. Like I've had it for like a few months now, but I'm still not over it. I have been wearing it everywhere to every place. And I'm showing anybody that cares to see because <laughs> they're so cute. I think it's my neck piece. And it's because there's a story behind it. Right, I have a sentimental attachment to it. That is why it's my most valuable. Yeah. Yes! Yeah, I'm broke. <laughs> I don't have money like that. This is most expensive. I'm not David, though. <laughs> Maybe my watch. Don't zoom in. Uh -huh. Maybe my watch. Thank you. <laughs> my YSL shoes. Yeah, that'll probably be the most expensive thing I have in my wardrobe right now. It's probably this watch, because this is Cartier. Um... And that's because I bought it like two, two, three days ago. I think right now, I got this as a birthday gift. It's a pair of um, the, it's limited edition Prada sunglasses. I've not really worn it because you see the thing is that it's not really the aesthetic of the kind of glasses I like. But um, yeah, it's just they're sitting pretty. It's gorgeous. Unapologetic, smorgasbord. Ha! Ah, Molosku. S M O R G A S B O R D. Smokers, but it's like, you know, an eclectic mix, a potpourri of so many elements. Yeah. And last one, sexual outlaw. Use it like that. I would easily pick simple and classic. Laid back, casual, really. My, my style now is standout. So now I like to wear things that most people wouldn't wear, you know, or, or I like to wear things that if somebody else wears it, it will look very awkward. It's only me that can pull it off. Black, white, it, it just looks good on me, really. It just makes me look badass. When it's not faded, shall but black. <laughs> Blue. Chelsea Football Club. My favorite color is black. It's white. My mom said that when I was born, she just had this inkling to dress me in only white till I was about four, four years old. I don't know, it's in maybe not some, you know, spiritual pee, but she just said she just f felt strongly to dress me in white. And I never knew this until like four years ago, but I've always loved white. A lot of my um, album covers, the background is always white. My biggest singles, the artwork is always white. 
um, my first shows, I always wear white. Um, yeah, white. My favorite color easily is white. White is classy, it's simple, it's pure, it clears my head, it clears my mind, it makes me happy. White. Red, definitely. My underpants are red, I wish I could zip and show you. Red, I love red, it's vivacious, it's colorful, it's in your face, it's bright, it's spunky, it's fabulous, and it's like dear devilry. I love, there has to be an element of red. I think I'll say skincare, because I'm very big on my skin. And fun fact, I love sleeping naked. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I'm, but, um, and that's because I'm sleeping, sleeping naked, actually, scientifically, uh, it gives you better skin, you know, because your skin needs to breathe because it's an organ. So yeah, please sleep naked today. Yeah. <laughs> skincare. <laughs> I'll, I'll say skincare because I'm really, I'm really trying to, you know, get into that. And I feel like it's fun, you know, putting the face mask on, the cucumbers in your eyes. I'd be watching the movies. I feel like it's cute. How many people look at toes, though? Like, most people are not even into toes. So, like, if your toes are bad or good, they don't care. You see what I mean? Unless they're toe freaks. They like sucking toes. I don't do that. I don't do that. Everyone's like, but people, I'm telling you, there's somebody in this room that is into toes. They like actually sucking toes. I don't judge you. It's nasty, but I'm not judging you. I'm, I'm not judging you. To hell with manicure and pedicure, what I need it for. Sure that I'm covering it, and I wear gloves. Huh? Skincare or hair care? That's a good one. Please, it's skincare. Let me tell you why. Because when you see luscious, translucent, luminous skin, it's orgasmic on its own. It's sexy on its own. So yes, the body must be smooth. And me, I'm a product whore. Ah! I can't use products. Name the range. Skincare. As much as I hate it, skincare. I hate it. I, I dread it. I, I don't mind sitting for hours for my manicure and my pedi. But you see, to just stay in front of my mirror and start applying different serums and waiting for it to dry out is one of the most annoying things ever. <laughs> I really hate it, but... Hey, look, you don't, you don't, it's a lot of hard work. You don't get this by just doing easy stuff. Like, hey, check myself out. Nail is in the trash. Uh, skin. Skin, actually. Uh, because my, my job requires a lot of skin. What other skin do we have apart from the one here? Right? Like, you can see my skin, right? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> ah, if I off my boy, if I off clothes, yeah. If I, ah! Oh my turn on it. You don't even need lights. You brighten up the place. And that's dicey. Um, cause no, I mean I wear everything. No. <laughs> Probably a see-through with no underwear beneath. I've seen a lot of people doing it in Lagos and it's so impressive, I have to say. Like I, I was just like, whoa, oh wow, you guys are bold, bold. Even like without the tape, I was like, ah, wow, impressive. <laughs> Have you seen it? It catches you by surprise. You just, ah, ah, ah. wow, yeah, but like, I think it's quite impressive, but I wish I was as bold as that, but sadly I'm not. The amount of family meeting that they hold on top of my head there, I think, yeah, it's just not worth it. I love fashion so much I can I can decide to wear anything at any time and it's going to it's going to slap, you know. So yeah, I don't know. So that's the thing, because I'm thinking tape and all even the, the ridiculous stuff. I'm feeling like if you catch me on an interesting day, I will try it. <laughs> I've worn everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything from thongs to dresses. I, but, but, but I don't, wait, 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 hold on. Men can't wear thongs? Like, what's going on here? This is, it's is, is giving, is giving discrimination. They're male thongs, and they're amazing. They're great for the, they're great for the cheeks. Let them, let them breathe, you know? That's all I'm saying. You guys should, don't, 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 don't judge me till you try it. That's all I'm saying. I would never be caught dead wearing a thong. I can't explain it. I don't understand it. I can't. I mean, I have I want to pack my blockers, my ECMO. Ha! Ah, ha! Ah, no. I may have, you know, egg sacs, scrotal sacs. How? So I feel like one will peep. 
Signing out. I just spoke my truth on Niger Diaries. Niger Diaries.